Thousands of left-wing and national religious protesters came together on Tuesday night in Beit Shemesh to rally against the attacks on the Arot Girls' School and the general rise of ultra-Orthodox extremism. And we think that Beit Shemesh has become an, an example for the rest of the country of the extremist elements asserting themselves, the authorities letting them assert themselves both on a political and police level, and it's time for all of us to unify together and, and put a stop to it. Local extremists have been verbally assaulting the students of the new Arot Banot Middle and Elementary School since the beginning of the school year. But the issue received renewed national attention over the past week when media outlets uncovered a few incidents of protesting men spitting on the schoolgirls. Dove Lippmann, one of the organizers of the anti-extremism rally, called on the police in Beit Shemesh to make arrest by the National Religious School. Then they started moving the uh, demonstrators, for lack of a better word, out of the way, and that was good, but we want the police to arrest them. We think that if somebody comes and screams anything at anyone, doesn't matter to me if it's a religious Zionist girl or an ultra-Orthodox girl or a secular girl, that that is uh, a level of violence in our minds and they should be arrested immediately for it. צריך לא להוציא את הדברים עם פרופורציות. בסופו של יום, בבית שמש אין קרבות רחוב. חיים פה בשלווה ובהרמוניה 100 אלף תושבים מכל החוגים. יוכבד בינן סטאק, סיקשרול דוטר אורה, אטנדס לבורות בונות סקול. יוכבד אומר שהרבה אופיר הזה גרם לך מאז שאתה שומע על הראשון האינסטנטס. אני לא הייתי נרבס, לא. אני לא הייתי נרבס על זה, אבל עכשיו שאני שומעת יותר סטוריות על הטקס, זה מצחיק. Speaking that same day in Jerusalem, Prime Minister Netanyahu said he instructed police to arrest the perpetrators of the attacks on the schoolgirls. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.